for a time like this because whether we like it or not nigeria is at the brink at the brink of some serious chaos and you and i will be the ones to contribute to putting it back together and making sure it doesn't slip into chaos but it rather achieves the peace that very every one of us you know so much desire my name is tommy singh and it's always a pleasure being here with you on a beautiful thursday you know that um i just love the african thingy <clears throat> and the african attire and so when i come on a thursday like this and you see me wearing ankara i think i deserve a gift of some sort all right i was looking straight into the papers this morning because i have quite a number of things to do today quite a number of things uh people have been begging talk about politics talk about politics and i've been getting your messages and uh, we have definitely gotten ready to hit the ground running with the APC presidential nomination form at about 100 million naira. Joining the conversation this morning is Mr. Aki Fatuke, who coincidentally is celebrating his birthday today. Good morning. Thank so you. you're an April baby. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm Taurian. Uh, mm. Good morning, Nigerians. I, uh, wish my country were to be in some other states when i say some other states some other <laughs> state of um, health some other state of education some other state of livelihood uh, so that joys will be able to go around but if here we are uh, we are same of same not notwithstanding to me say i really must thank you very much and um, i know Joyce that come in the morrow will come by way of all Nigerians by the special grace one of the Almighty God and by the special desire of you, me mm. and you, you and I, and all of us working together can lift our country. Thank you so much. Mm. Let's take a look at the stories in the papers today. Of course, we had reactions and we will be taking or try as much as possible. To take some of those reactions as well the nation newspaper is where we want to begin from and it simply talks about buhari cautions apc against imposition of candidates you have nomination fees two million for the house of assembly house of rep 10 senate 20 governorship 50 uh, presidential 100 um the schedule of activities you have the assembly uh, governorship 18 assembly 20 house of reps 22 senate 24 presidential 30th to first inside the next seats power to the nwc for 90 days sale of forms begins tomorrow governors are party leaders in state adamu insists why nomination form is 100 million group raises check for tenubus forms nwc to decide on zoning mode of primaries and uh, you have a um, presidential primary fixed for 30 8th of may to the 1st of june Past sector to fail to meet 4,500 megawatt target. How decision on Daria in Yame was taken by the presidency. CJM warns the judges against illegal wealth and flamboyant strain attack. Kaduna gives family of dead victims 18 million naira. Government abduct 40, uh, four, pardon me, family members in Abuja. Of course, I'll take a look at the Nigerian Tribune next. Uh, that was uh, the, the punch newspaper the nation pardon me and i go to the nigerian tribune next we have 100 million apc presidential forms shock nigerians and the party slashes cost of forms by 50 percent for aspirants under the age of 40 next transfers its powers to nwc for 90 days party may settle for indirect primaries says kebi state governor buhari demands due process and compromises Taraba explosion death toll rises to 16 police confirm six ten feared killed as the larger fishermen clash with Tibeno natives in Aqua Ibom and the three killed federal lawmaker family members escape death in Plateau Earl of Fire approves 80 million naira for Nigerian families in Abuja crane train attack 15 Edo communities civil society grows barricade beneath Lagos Road over headsmen's attack and uh, Boko Haram perversion of religion, Buhari says, and PDP President Shaspirans insist on primary as a nomination ends. This one says, give us 20 billion, uh, 200 billion naira from the 4 trillion fuel subsidy to return to schools, as so tells federal government. Uh, EU and UN toothless bulldogs, alleged war crimes in Ukraine. 
Um, of to the punch, uh, the punch newspaper. APC silent on zoning. Nigerians condemn 100 million nomination visas. It will encourage corruption. It will deter on serious aspirants. The chieftain says governments remain state leaders. Abdamu warns factions in the red primary is likely. Don't repeat PDP's mistakes. Buhari position on zoning out soon. Kaduna crash. Late pilot's family laments. Naf begins probe. Neko postpones common entrance exam over low registration. OAU indicts professor accused of robbing private parts of students. Mindfair killed in a quiet bomb motion clashes 131,376. Retirees withdraw 32 billion naira quit pension scheme. Part of reef shortfall hits uh, 247 billion naira. Government clears debt December. Imported vehicle CITN to engage customs. Others over the 15% knock levy. Right to have, lastly, the Guardian newspaper and its banner headline also talks about the opera over the APC nomination form. Opera over APC nomination, presidential nomination form. You have a uh, where anybody buying APC nomination form should be arrested and investigated. Capital businessman signs a 100 million naira check for Tinubu's president. Your form. Are you saying there are no people rich enough to buy that form in Nigeria? Austerity measures will worsen hunger, poverty in Nigeria. 200 million Hajj get ready to pay more. Senior official tells Pigrims. Scores fed killed in Elijah Ibeno clash in Akwaibom. Buari ran in Nigeria at ground, says Bishop Mogweko. And soldier 20 terrorists die in MNJTF operations. Buhari's Katsina's uh, North Senator leaves APC for the PDP. Kano Commissioner Stomps Kenduje and quits office. Mr. President, Nigeria is running wild. That's the editorial of the Guardian newspaper this morning. Mr. Fatuke, let's begin with the story. Opera over the APC 100 million presidential nomination form. Well, you heard that yesterday. Let me begin. What was your reaction for us? My director has a video from the NEC meeting yesterday of the APC. You can also roll that, but let's talk about it. What was your reaction? 100 my, million. My, whooping, 100 million. My reaction was uh, simple. Nigeria um, is the state at a bazaar. And you know how it goes at a bazaar? If, okay. you, if you are uh, able to spend a hundred naira, yes. I will double that or I'll quadruple that. Show of deep pockets while living the substance. I just say, living the substance uh, in abeyance. When I heard that yesterday, I, my first reaction was natural. Okay. Somebody somewhere, the APC as a party have clearly come to say that yes uh, this is not uh, an NGO hmm. this is a place where I have come and I've got to be able to make <laughs> money um, for the outfit just like football you the coach you the technical advisor how viable is your team is it always about winning elections is it always about winning matches what about some form of sustainability, albeit hmm. this form of sustainability ends up in uh, private pockets. I personally was miffed. Uh, is there prerogative? Isn't it preposterous that we're spending 50 million naira to buy a governorship form and we're looking at 100 million to buy a presidential form? To do what they felt they needed to do um, and whether it's the two parties we have forget about the retinue of other parties that uh, are at the fringes is all about money and in any case if you are going to be the capo which exactly is what you will be <coughs> if um, the election favors you uh, what will now happen is that uh, you first of all recoup and naturally you recoup your working capital finance experts and accountants will understand what I'm saying. You recruit your, your uh, working capital immediately uh, before you begin to get accretion uh, into your capital base. Then if you are going to steal the country blind, 
into oblivion. So why don't we, first of all, begin to task you in there. Now, don't forget, at the last count, the number of um, persons who have indicated interest mm. to contest mm -hmm. under APC um, mm -hmm. is some um, two stars plus. And then somebody now then said, wait a minute, this, this is not the time for us to be able to make money. And there it is. Make money. I, I want to dare ask a question, Mr. Fatsuke. You're making money for what exactly? I, I mean, the average Nigerian hears the value 100 million. And the average Nigerian is saying, eh? are you kidding me right now? It looks as if all these guys have robbed us blind and then they're using the money to, are they going to, because as we speak right now, about eight people, about six of them, uh, I think, or seven, have, uh, you know, indicated their interest. You have uh, Shuajibal Abmetinubu, you have the vice president, you have Roti Miyamechi, you have Chris Ndike. You're looking at uh, Yaya Bello. <laughs> so, I I'm just wondering, that's 500 million, that's a quarter of a billionaire. If they have this much money in their pocket, why are they not donating this money to fix the educational sector? If what is needed to fix the educational sector is just 200 million. Because it's not their priority. 200 billion. Are you kidding me right now? Because it is not their priorities. Um, a social media guy, I don't want to mention names, got up some time ago and then threw uh, a hashtag. And before you knew what was happening, money was coming from everywhere hmm. in the same country that you say we don't have money. But in his own case, he did something. Yes, I wanted to try this as a joke. I'm going to give it to some charity. Mm -hmm. In the case of uh, politicians, that's what I call them. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's an investment that they know, based on past experiences, doing their MPV, mm. doing their payback, doing their investment analysis know that they are going to more than recover that investment mm. uh, if this is not like you are trying to to pause it crazy then you begin to think of some other things why and where do you think all the leakages we've been talking about in the economy is coming from the unaccountability of um, funding, the projects management that you are talking about. And I tell you to them, to them, to them, mm -hmm. it's just like a drop uh, in the mighty ocean of uh, a lot, repeat, a lot. So the average and the common man will not be saying, oh my God, please don't, don't my God, don't put God into this. 4.1 trillion had just been approved for subsidy mm. more oh, that's our next conversation more than half of that mm. more than half of that mm. is to take care of all this that we are seeing okay but, but let me ask a question here mr Fatsuka. i don't want us to get into that subsidy matter because it, 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 it's our next topic the average president in nigeria as a matter of fact president mama Dubari, as you speak earns 30 million naira as salary in one month according to according to um <laughs> the Wikipedia and talking I'm about the final account. Yeah, I, I know. Apart from the monument of office and the rest of it, when he came into power, he did say that he was going to be earning just half of the salary with his VP. Okay, um, half of the salary, let's say fifteen million, in addition to the extra X X X X. I had that together, and I'm saying in four months, um, the salary of the president is one hundred and twenty million naira. APC wants to collect a hundred of that for nomination from. So yes, you now have Nigerians, businessmen and all of them in Nigeria saying, we're buying the nomination from for I remember President Mahmoud Bouari's form in twenty fifteen I guess was bought by people. He wasn't bought by himself. You're looking at another one, somebody has already come up, the chemical businessman has come up now and says he's buying he has sandy check already for a hundred million naira for the form for Ashiwa Jubal at Metinubu. And the Harvard Nigerian, you know, looks at it and says, where are they getting the money from? I want to share with you some of the messages that we got on the pages of social media. I posted this topic yesterday and I wanted reactions from people. 
and these were some of the things that they said the first person um, did say I'd like to take the first one first the first person says um, uh, okay a cartel of thieves to steal to kill and destroy this alone is enough for Nigerians to know that these people are everything associated with the APC are criminals and has nothing to offer the nation this is coming from Facebook uh, my director can also put that tweet up there after paying 100 million and 50 million the winners will proceed to campaign and spend billions even borrow every dime must be repaid but how is the question by stealing and everything fraudulent people said a seed for bounty harvest somebody says um atoye b says just too much now this is one person this says um if it is in a responsible country the sources of income of those that paid such a whooping amount would should be seriously probed but in our case it is seen as mere competition as to who could easily pay another person says public office for sale and then i asked the question could it be an opportunity to deter many from buying the phone according to the apc it is an opportunity uh, to weed out certain people from buying the phone but then do you think any politician in nigeria was been enough after all all the people who have uh, um you know indicated interest how currently occupying positions in the country so what are we talking about they can afford it or not we are talking about the fact that uh, we are jesters and uh, comedians the the jesters are out there smiling and laughing at rebelled jokes being cracked by the comedian and the comedian is out there with a straight face not laughing of course he's going to laugh at the end of the day to the mm. banks so who is fooling who uh, may i add mine um, i would say the nigerian state can be likened to alibaba and the 40 thieves alibaba mm. is a thief the other 40 are also thieves the most lucrative the most lucrative business in the whole wide world i'm saying the whole wide world not just the nigerian politics where you sow nothing where you add value zero but get humongous 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 cash flow got humongous profits um, whether landed, whether it's uh, properties all over the place. Uh, and I was just going to chalk bro, when you were turning out the salaries of mm. uh, uh, Mr. President. And, you know, I actually said, according to who? It has to be salaries and uh, monuments. Mm. What, we're just talking about basic, basic. What mm. my president has expended on his health, tourism alone, no medical tourism that is, he has engaged in is enough in seven years it's enough to, to 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 sink three four five states in our federating unit and that is mm. and that is putting it mildly by your calculation i, I keep on saying that um, they are all liars politicians are liars they know that are they you are liars. saying there are no good ones amongst them at all there will naturally be good ones but you cannot be straight in a rough jacket and that is the point now situations where you can only be straight if you have a tailor hmm. who knows when to start when to stop how to cut coat according to size but where it is free fall for everybody you get in there and then you say hey is that is that the way life life is and is the reason why you find people who are perhaps criticizing always criticizing then when they when they give them um a piece of the pudding they will come back and say that uh, when you are eating you don't uh, you don't talk much mm. my point is we do not have accountability we do not have a situation where we punish i repeat we mm. punish bad behavior after all the fact, people you punish you also pardon them as well rather than punish bad behavior we reward deviant behavior we see that and that's the reason why our national assemblies are, are being occupied by misfits rooks lizards cockroaches and crocodiles 
Um, that's the reason why our governors, you know, many of them, well, like you said, one needs to be very, very careful. Uh, there might be one or two. Of every what? What's the calculation? What's the percentage here? Are we looking at one of every 10? 0 0.005 percent. Okay. You can do the maths. Buy your maths. Now, these 0 0.005 percent will be the ones that uh, my dear friend and brother Charlie Boy will call the mumus. When you get there, when they toss you right, when they toss you left, they toss you to the center, uh, they begin to say, you, you are the one that's going to expose us. And they mm -hmm. can spoke you out of existence. But that can really stop if you all get up to an accountability. Please, uh, Tony, see. Under the current... Um under the current constitution, under the current system we run, yeah. can there ever be accountability? There should and can be accountability, albeit very, very hard. Because when the head is rotten, the toe will feel a lot of pain. Now, for all these bodies that are moving around, I call on the youths, I call on the women, I call on the market women. There has to be a way to counter this mm. by superior thinking. Mm. We could do crowdfunding and begin to now gather and continue to agonize. These people are not ready to leave the stage so soon. Mm. We always remember, and I always say this, a journey of a thousand miles begin with a step you took yesterday. Let's begin to organize ourselves Let's begin to put accountability together. After mm. all, we saw it during the answers. We can crowdfund, bring just bring mine. All the things and we are criticizing. Cobble, cobble together. The government about now. We put all those measures in place. Mm. And counter. Is that not what happens to Obama? Obama became president of the United States of America perhaps one year or two years before. He had all the talents within him. And when he, he went to make that speech for Kerry Walk, I said, hey, look, begin to watch this guy. This is the kind of guy we should all be gunning for. And what happened? People started putting funds together. together. And that is the only way to counter this. Democracy is a game of numbers. You bring yours, I bring mine. We have like minds, we have good vision, we have good mission, we have good values. And we begin to now say, yeah, it's not our turn now to be talking about mm. presidency. Can we position ourselves to the local the government? Grassroots. Can we position ourselves to national begin assembly? Begin to build up. Can we begin to position ourselves and begin mm. to what? Build up. Let's go to you, the next conversation this morning, Mr. Fatinke. Uh, you did mention it earlier. Four trillion naira has been approved by this government for few subsidy not their fault in any way after all they did remove subsidy and then some people went on strike and then there was all of the noise um so let's give it to them a little here a little there but then asu says give us 200 billion of your four trillion era for so few subsidy and we'll return to work Sounds like a fantastic option, if you ask me. Or what do you think? To every yeah. Nigerian, it sounds like that. What I, what, what I think, uh, like you said, of course, can't be their fault. Their fault. Politicians, and that's where we started from, mm. we want to go into business. It's a, it's, it's a business. Of course, they know that a lot of our moves we never do. Let's, remove, do. let's, remove, let's remove the subsidy. You with your mouth. You, no, no, no. Never. It's not going to be. And so we remained of same of same. Mm. And then we played into their hands, pure and simple. 4.1 trillion naira, some mm. 8 billion dollars. Even almighty America, mm. China, will never, ever make that kind of expenditure on petrol. And here we are, we submitted to them. Because no, never when we should all be sitting around the cancer patient and be talking truth to ourselves it's bad yes it's bad but what do we do about it this cancer patient 
Should we ask him or her to go back and go and take care of his um, household? Mm. Okay. Some people will say, yeah, let's take him or her to a spiritual center. Continue wasting of time, which exactly is the Nigerian situation. So Nigerians have refused to accept that subsidy needs to go and so has continued to enable. Is that and what you're saying? You, you're doing that to a rogue, rogue government. Rogue politicians who played into their hands. It's like somebody just enter your house and say, look, if you make a noise, uh, I'm going to shoot you. Okay, it's good for you to just go prostrate. But for you to go prostrate and say, oh, I have um, an AK-47 very near me and all that. Oh, and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, you have AK-47? I'm the arm robber to the teeth. That's what Nigeria has done. So whether it's the Labour Congress, whether it is you and I, and that are chopping our future, and unfortunately, we are only chopping a minuscule out of this money, the rest is going to go into the So basically, <laughs> for 23 years, we Nigerians have continued to clamor for a subsidy that is robbing us blind of our In the first place, infrastructure, let's be, progress. Let's look at numbers. How much do we consume? Can anybody give us that number? Why are we consuming what we are consuming? What about all the smuggling? What about all the leakages? Mm. What is going on? They've what about the ones that are taken to Togo? They've stolen us. The Republic of they've stolen us blind. Then they come back and say, oh, sorry, uh, whatever. I, say, oh, man, I don't go agree. I don't go agree. We all need to sit around the table and talk truths to ourselves. I know a couple of people are saying, well, they are chopping their own, so let me chop my own. <laughs> you chop your own and you forget your future. You forget, like um, Asu is saying, I mean, it sounds to common sense. What Asu is doing to compute, that out of these monies, mm. more than what they are asking for is going to go into private pockets anyway. So what kind of priority do you give to a set of people who will leave the educational sector comatose, who will go and buy funds for 100 million, for 40 million? The other party is saying 40 million. I hope uh, uh, they no. too will jack that. No, 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 no don't worry. They said 40 million for just the nomination form. Don't forget that it's indication of interest. There are two mm -hmm. forms. I hear. I hear. Mm. We are going to see. What kind of priorities do you give to a set of people that under our Kuru Kuru eyes, COVID 19 came, we went flat down. Our medical doctors, our nurses are voting with their legs. Every aspect of our economy is either going on strike or is in stark darkness. They see it. They know we see it. So the onus is on us. So I change it around from uh, what Charlie Boy said. Our mumu don't do. Let us rise not continue to um, antagonize let's organize and let's put a thinking cap there are capable nigerians who will be able to do by far better than what we are being served today four trillion naira we played into the politicians hands um, they knew that was going to happen but if the new person comes <laughs> and says i'm removing subsidy nigerians do you see nigerians not rising again are we educated enough and to understand that subsidy is still a scam? I am talking about it. Yes, I agree. A personal scam so that we have we allowed. we must begin to answer the questions. Akin to a situation where the blind and the lame have been given some raw materials that you call ground nuts. You, mm. the lame, because you can see, continue to fry. Yes. Me, the blind, I can't fry, but when I see you whistling, I know the bad is not going <laughs> mm. down your mouth. So, trust now becomes an issue. So, I know what was produced. Mind not the fact that uh, some other persons will now then come and begin to steal, and I get my priorities right, and I get my politics right, and I restructure my mind, mm -hmm. and I restructure the polity, and I begin to tell myself the basic truth, and begin to look are the critical issues of population control. Mm. I begin to look at the critical issue of educational um, resurgence, resurgimento, like the, the Italians will call it.